Good afternoon everyone. We are going to take two on this video. Um, I've already recorded once before and my kids lost their minds. Yeah, does that tell you the kind of day I'm having? Um, another kind of day I'm having is I had my DT. Well, let's start out. This is a Craft With Me for Artsology. Deb, you will find her links below and everybody on the design team as well. All their links will be below as well. So please go check them all out. Um, amazing people, really. Amazing people, amazing crafters, designers. They're all just absolutely awesome. So um, I had my DT almost done. And then my dude, my dude is, for those of you that do not know, my dude is my two-year-old. Dude is what I call him. Uh, got a hold of it and I could just cry I'm I, I'm just so upset um, the cover was probably one of the best I've ever done ever and uh, he ruined it and with some of the ephemera as well got ruined so I had to start over yeah um so i am making some journal cards and tags to finish up my dt my 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 journal my project um so i can show you guys the flip through i like this one as well i really love how it turned out but my first cover was it was gorgeous and I usually never say that about my work, but it was gorgeous. So, um, we are going to make a tag. I've already made some tags, and I will show you those when we are done here. So, <clears throat> I am going to do not all collaging, but a, a little, maybe a little bit. I don't know yet. I haven't decided on this tag. Um, I have a lot of collage work in this journal, so um, I'm, I've really enjoyed that process of, of collaging. So I want to put this just down here in the center, and I'm going to have to add some glue. I know that, but I wasn't for sure how far out this was going to go. So, and I'll have to add some here on this corner, and I'll just add it on the paper. There we go, and then some on this side as well. And this is going to be the side that you write on, so I'm not going to be too particular. And it's going to get distressed, you know. I'm going to leave that just the way it is because I like the way that looks, I really do. So we are going to distress. And I want to get that really good. I mean, some people may not leave that, but I'm going to. Because like I said, I just love the way it looks. Some of that white showing through. Looks like, you know, this has been through it. So, I want to get it good and, and inked up. There we go. That's what I want exactly how I want it to look so we're gonna get that all dark and looking amazing yeah I'm liking that so I hope you guys all have been well and good and enjoying um, if you're here in Missouri or where in the Midwest, you are enjoying some of this cool weather we have been getting. Thank goodness, because it has been hot as heck. So, I'm glad it's finally cooling down for us. Because God knows we need some cool weather. Okay, so I have this piece of material 
and yeah I'm gonna leave the ink spots on it because that does not bother me at all that is a vintage um, outfit for a ring bearer and I am just now using it and I thought this would be perfect for it so that ink spot that's on there was on there when I got it of course so I'm going to leave it I think it's going to add a little character to this um, and I'm going to be doing some collaging on it as well you guys so it's really not going to matter that it's there because you probably won't see the majority of it I need to use my um, my garment um, fabric scissors so there we go I have one pair for my fabrics I don't know if you guys are that way but I do because if I don't then I'm never going to be able to cut fabrics decent I will never have a sharp pair of scissors for the fabrics um, and then I think I'm just going to start doing a little collaging on this tag you guys know I've been all about the collaging here lately and I don't foresee it stopping anytime soon I absolutely love it especially when it comes to vintage stuff I am crazy about it um let's see what else am I going to use I have all kinds of little things just sitting here on my face and this piece here I want to say because I want to use that for something else um let's take some of these words from this picture that I had gotten from my sister and I'm going to distress it I probably should distress that piece there too and I didn't do it but it's okay it'll be all right okay we're going to put that right here so let's go ahead and and add our glue And just add this piece here. There we go. I'm going to smear that down in it. There we go. I like the way that looks. And I can easily take some of this. Um, oh, what's it called? Tracing paper. And put over. I don't know if I'm going to yet. So I'm just going to leave it just the way it is. Um, then I have some more of Deb's... Um, digis some scraps of it and I'm just going to ink it up a little bit and then I'm going to throw it on here about right there I think it's gonna be all right so um, I'm using art glitter glue I love this glue I really do I think it is outside of Tombow I think it's probably my favorite glue so I'm definitely using it and I got it off Amazon pretty cheap actually um, it comes with this bottle and then it comes with a refill so that's that's pretty good I think I've never had it before I've seen so many people using it but I've never used it myself Ooh, wait a minute we're going to put that piece on there too. Um, so I had to get it and see what all the the craze was about. And I get it now. And I'm so glad that, that I, you know, took that leap and bought it. I don't know about you guys, but I'm the type of person that I don't want to buy something if I don't know anything about it. And then when I do, I'm still a little nervous about getting it. Because you just, you just never know. I don't want to waste my money on something. And I think we're all like that. So. More collaging. I know I did a video like this before, guys. But, oops. But, with my project that got tore up. I figured I'd come on and do. Um. Some, uh. 
Oof, I don't know if I like that. Some crafting. Now, I've done the dangles. If you haven't caught my dangle, um, my dangle video, you should. It is turned out really, really cute. And I'm definitely going to be making more of those. Just make them up ahead of time. Um, and uh, that way I've got them on hand. So when I do a journal, that's one thing I don't have to, uh, I don't have to make is my dangles because they'll already be made. And that's something good about doing this. Like after I'm done with my, my, all of my DT projects, I can sit and just take all my scraps and make some, some fun things. So... There's an idea for you guys. And like I said, if you have it made up, you don't have to take so much time in making them. You've already got them in your stash. You can grab them and uh, add them into your journals or whatever you want to do. Whatever you want to do with them. So, and I like taking and at making things and then when I send out a happy mail... I like to add these in it because I think um, I like receiving things from my journal that's already made up and I don't have to do it so not that I'm lazy but I just I just like it so um, I have this little this image here and I think I'm gonna add that right there I think that's gonna look really cute so let's glue these down these are some timmy dolls that i had gotten from my my sister again for my birthday we do goodie boxes for our birthday and it's usually it used to be just beads and now it's paper crafting and beads because i still make jewelry and stuff i love doing that that is um that is my first love so there is my tag that's so cute you guys i think i need something there though i mean i don't know why i think it adds a little something to it i'm not going to put anything there i think it looks just fine the way it is what do you guys think now i have some uh a punch here this is a heart punch i don't have another one i did have but yeah I can't even, I, I, I don't know what happened to it. I do know what happened to it, but I don't understand how it happened, so. Alright, and this is the other tag I made earlier. Yeah, this got both the same image, but, you know, it just is what it is. I think it's going to be just fine, honestly. I don't think people's going to be flipping their lid because... I use the same image twice and if they do well oh well all right so I'm gonna use some of this um oh embroidery um thread here and I'm going to add this on my tags because it's simple and simple is simple's good sometimes. So I'm gonna put my try to put my string through all of it through. Okay. And then I'm going to pull it through here. Cut this down a little bit. So there is one tag and I'll do the other one real quick I got this embroidery thread from it was in a bag of stuff I forget where I got it I have no idea I, I'm sure it's from a thrift store because that's usually thrift store or a garage sale Especially this time of year. I rarely buy anything brand new. Um, because I don't like paying retail price. If I don't have to. And I have 
I have three kids, but I have two that live at home, and one's in high school, um, starting high school this year, so I need to conserve expenses, and this is my way of conserving expenses. So there is my two tags. Here are my journal cards that I created. This one here is collaged. This one here is plain. This is Deb's. And then this one I want to take because this come out of a book that my sister gave me. And I want, I love the picture. And I want to add the information down here at the bottom. And this is a painting. It is in the National Gallery in London. And since this is a traveling theme, vintage um, journal, I think this is awful fitting for this journal. So I am going to add this on here because it has to go on there. It just has to. That way, whoever gets this journal or decides, you know, whoever decides they want it, um, they will know that this picture is actually one from London. You know, it's in London, London in the gallery. So, all right, guys. So here are, here's my projects for today. Now, I think this is just one moment. Okay, dude said he can be good. Yes, play cards be good. Um, I think this. I think this is the end of my craft with me for my July um, design team uh, project. Um, you never know. I said that last month and ended up coming back a couple more times making things from a journal. So, but I think this is it for for this journal. It is. If you could see, it, it's cram packed. It is a fluffy journal, and I don't know how to make skinny ones, okay? I don't. I'm fluffy girl. My journals need to be fluffy. Just saying. I'm just saying. So, I am going to get off here, guys. Why cars in white cars? Yeah, them, them's cars. White cars. No, that's not white. That's black. Yeah. Yes. 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 Oh goodness. Okay, guys. Thank you so much for being here, coming back, and supporting me even through all the craziness and the just the noise and everything. You guys are absolutely amazing. I love you guys so much for it. Um. So I am going to leave you with a goodbye, a God bless, and I'll see y'all again soon. <laughs>